Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, okay. Do you hear any background noise from my end? Um, no, not as such. Not nothing, right? It's all clear. Okay. Okay, then, yeah, fine. So, um, are you having a good day? Yes. Fantastic. Good. So, uh, today's topic is financial literacy and management. Uh, so, shall we have a discussion on that? Or do you have anything else on your mind? Uh, no, no, we can have discussion on okay. that. <laughs> okay, okay, great. So, uh, how important is it for women uh, to be financially literate? Um, as per today's time, I think women should be independent. Uh, they should have some source of money. I mean, it may be whatever the source, but they should have, they should be independent. Yeah. That's true. How about financial literacy? Literacy means uh, knowing how to manage your finances, the different streams in which you can invest, save, you know, financial literacy. What to do with okay. the money that they have? Uh, it is like good to have thing uh, because, uh, I mean, for me as well, um, I have read some books on that, but it literally like if if um, in our college or school we have that subject i think that would make sense if like from early days only i think uh, it should be taught in school uh, then only because when we grew older i think uh, we have already lost a lot of time and i think in financial world this compound interest thing works well so if we start early then i think it will make sense and now because now i read it uh, it's really difficult to understand the financial terms to me so so i think yeah even i faced this trouble a lot initially um, earning money is something that's very important and we do earn money but what to do with it and then how to multiply it that knowledge is also equally important right so yeah correct uh, right now are you happy uh, with the way you are managing your finances or do you feel like you still need to do a lot more uh, in this regard um currently what i am doing is literally 5% that i am doing i am just keeping my money as a fd in bank and i know that my money value is literally dis decreasing I mean, at 10 years, um, I don't think so. Like, okay, so I'm already reading about that, but mostly in next one year or two, mm -hmm. I'll just um, uh, diversification or what is the word? Like di dilute, what is the word for like um, uh, spreading money in multiple sources? That's diversify. Diversify. So yeah, so I'll diversify the, my money in multiple uh, sources. Okay, great. That's nice. And uh, or do you have any financial advisor? Um, it could be a professional or anyone in your own social circle uh, who gives you good advice with about money. No, whatever I learn, I learn from YouTube. And there is one um, uh, one author, Monica Galen, I think. She is really um, a good financial advisor. I mean, I have read her book, and she's really good. I think it's Monica Helen. Okay. Yeah, Monica Helen. Um, she has written one book. I have read her books. So, uh, let's talk money. It's a really great book. If you are like beginner, uh, um, I learned a lot. But I think she was writing another book on stock or uh, this mutual fund. So I okay. didn't know she, if she has has she yet written it or not. But yeah, I have to like I'm just looking forward to it. Okay, great. Uh, so that's nice and uh, earlier you mentioned that finance uh, a bit of finance and money should be taught uh, even to students right if not in schools at least in colleges uh, it can be a part of the curriculum maybe once a yes. week they get some seminar related to money management how to earn money how to spend money even some seminars like that would you know definitely help so now based on your experience what is better is it better to save a lot of money or invest a major portion of it um, I mean, investing is really good, uh, but I think we should divide our money in such a way that we should have like six months of emergency fund. Rest mm -hmm. we can invest. Uh, so like 
um if anything happens um then i think we should survive for 6 month because other than, like if we have money for 6 month then i think in 6 month is pretty much good amount of time to yeah. start another thing so yeah so save for like 6 month and then or invest a rest money perfect um what is the best uh, financial decision that you think you took so far um i think started my job a bit good package not like with tcs infosys i mean nothing wrong with that but uh, i just promised to myself when i was about to graduate that i'll not start my career with 3 lpa package or 4 mm-hmm. lpa package so i mm-hmm. think that was the first and best decision i have took um and yeah so i think that was the one other than i, I i'm not go- doing good financial wise <laughs> <laughs> like investing wise i would say in in terms of investment wise okay, yeah okay. um do you regret taking any financial financial decision um no because um, i just like uh, two years back i invested in cryptocurrency uh, but with the thought in mind that okay this money i don't want so with that thought i invested so as such i haven't regretted anything no okay good and um what is the one piece of financial advice that you would like to give to the younger generation uh i would say divide your money in such a ratio like um if you like earning okay so i'll, I'll just keep it 100% your money mm-hmm. then um 10% for the uh, your self learning i think this is the thing i i learned uh, literally recently so i would say like 10% invest money in your self learning buy courses buy books whatever you want to do invest 10% of that then uh, save 20% and uh, then um, i think 10% or 20% for your uh, self uh, entertainment thing and then rest 40% maybe it will go in um, rent and all these things so divide your money like that and do it every month i think that's really good advice or uh, did you learn it from that book you were talking about let's talk money yes yes i mean uh, introduced in that book uh, but i think uh, this 10% um invest on ourselves this advice i think it it, it is like really a uh, big um thing for me because i earlier i was not doing but this, from this year i started doing so i can see um, tremendous change in me mm. and uh, the way i'm looking at money now hmm okay that's good i think um when you read a book maybe uh, it's not possible for us to learn something from every page but in the entire book there'll definitely be that one advice or something one element that kind of changes our perspective on things right so Correct. i think that's the best part about uh, reading books yeah and another thing i have learned about right reading book if if you read this book at like certain at certain time then you will learn something but if you read the same book at another time maybe in different phase of your life you will get another thing so that's the beauty of the reading book multiple times that's such a that's such a great observation you know uh, you can use the word resonates you know some books resonate with you only at a certain point in your life right right what is resonate yeah that's so true uh, it happened with uh, me also i was reading a book called the forest of enchantments mm-hmm. i purchased this book i think 3 3 years ago 3 or 2 and a half years ago i started reading the first few pages that didn't really connect to me as like i don't want to read it but then just a month ago i picked it up again i don't know what changed i just couldn't stop myself from you know turning the pages i don't know what changed but uh, as you mentioned probably a different stage in my life so maybe i resonated with it yeah yeah it yeah. might happen yeah that's such a great observation and um, i got a recommendation of your youtube channel actually just yesterday oh my god yeah okay <laughs> so i was pleasantly surprised um i went through a couple of videos not our conversation videos the other things that you've posted you know and uh, you have a good a uh, good screen presence thank you yeah so you have a good screen presence if you want to make it even more professional you know i've seen some youtubers have this amazing background where everything is dark and there's just one light emitting from one side like right. a pink or a blue i think that looks really cool 
right so you could try out these different different things because um, i think the speaking part you do really well <laughs> Yeah, I'll 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 take your suggestion and I'll, maybe I'll just do something about my background as well. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, if you want to take it up professionally, I want people to you know stay hooked onto your channel and um, the entire presentation also it matters a lot in this day and age because there's so much competition. Uh, so right. you need to stand out. So that's why. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do it. Sure, sure. And uh, you spoke really well, uh, Nancy. Everything that you mentioned made a lot of sense. one big no- uh, difference that i have noticed in the way you speak you are very calm and you are a lot in control of what you are saying these days so remember the earlier sessions you would speak a little too fast and um, ideas would overlap and uh, it yeah. used to be a bit you know mixed here and there but i think now you've gotten a hold of it and uh, you complete every idea properly before moving on to the next idea even the speed with which you talk right that is also perfect so if there is something that you can improve on it definitely would be uh, you know your vocabulary and for that i would recommend this very simple thing just uh, uh, go through the vocabulary section of all the session materials that have been provided to you so far okay uh, hmm. personally i really like this the session material the vocab part right so even i okay. learn a lot from it so out of 30 words if you can remember even 10 uh, it would help you a lot right So, sure. Uh, if out of thirty words, you don't have to remember all thirty. Cherry hand pick uh, the ten words that you know you can use in your daily life, right? So just do that. Yeah, maybe from now on, what I'll do, I'll just yeah. like I'll just read uh, the yeah. vocabulary part first, and then I think I'll just incorporate these words in my speech. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Uh, that way, you will remember it for a very long time. You know. Yeah. Uh, and also you'll have the confidence that okay i know how to make a sentence with these words and uh, it'll help your self confidence as well so yeah that's a good idea sure okay, okay. cool so yeah that's uh, those are all the questions that i had for you and you performed really really well very impressed and uh, can't wait to see uh, more of your videos sure i'll upload i think okay. and one more thing i have wanted to ask you yeah. um, so <clears throat> are you doing the clapping go full time or doing along with job uh it's a part time i'm a freelancer right so here i'm oh. part time okay okay and um okay okay got it yeah <laughs> okay that's how it is uh, so majority of my time goes in ielts training i get my students personally so i oh. go there and then i'm mm-hmm. also since i'm a freelancer for spoken english i collaborate with a couple of platforms and oh i have conversations nice Yeah. So, what is the best thing you learn while interacting with the learners? I mean, since we, we uh, as a learner, I can say that okay, we are getting uh, feedbacks, good feedbacks on our sp- spoken English. So, like, what is the scene um, on the other side of the table? Okay. Uh, so, one thing I think my empathy levels have increased to a great extent. Uh, before I became a tutor. uh when people told when i would listen to people who didn't know how to speak good english i would feel like okay if they work a little hard what's the big deal they can learn it but no you know they unfortunately uh these people didn't have the kind of privilege that we had you know good schools uh great books to access to so you know you understand you learn to empathize with them you feel like okay it's not completely their fault and you learn to appreciate that people who are 35 40 45 50 years are starting to learn english at that stage in their life no so it's very courageous thing to do so you also mm. learn to respect others empathize with them and uh, not feel entitled no so right that's how it is when you watch motivational videos what do they say are itna nahi ho raha aapse aap you should do this you should do that but they don't know life situations no it's not that easy correct Uh, sometimes life throws you curve balls and while you're busy handling that self development goes out of the window you can't Correct. even think about Correct. it right? yeah so yeah. i meet a lot of inspiring people here a lot of them so hmm yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> so do you have any uh, i think you have a dream of being a life coach right like a smooth yes coach. yes yeah that's good so i think and for that public speaking is the first step <laughs> <laughs> 
that i am trying to overcome that this not public speaking i think a clarity uh, speaking with clarity and uh, like what mm. i am what i want to uh, convey convey I just want to convey it in a more better mm. way in a better way right yeah you will get the hang of it you know the more you speak uh, after a point forget about the tutor's feedback you will only start analyzing yourself better so you right. will identify things that probably we have missed and you will make those corrections by yourself right so it's going right. to help you um just spend a little moment introspecting you know just just be away from everyone and just uh, analyze what is going on how you spoke just analyze it all on your own and you will find some interesting things about yourself sure okay yep. yeah yeah and uh, yeah i think you have a, a youtube channel also so in a way you're interacting with so many people hundreds of them since it's a new one i'm sure it would be in hundreds later it will go to thousands and then 10000 yeah, so go like that right yeah yeah so i started earlier but i think i i should continue on that because uh, mm-hmm. it, it's this like i i think on in this platform only i can um, speak otherwise i won't don't i won't have time to speak anywhere so oh. i think it will look because it will be like feedback to me only uh-huh. if i listen yeah. to these videos then i can um, listen to listen and i think introspect introspect right introspect yeah. yeah great so i think my next session is also with you yes great i'll see yeah, you yeah the these were my backlog session i don't know clapping you provide backlog sessions as well <laughs> Yeah, uh, maybe you had cancelled some probably, and then they came. You they got reimbursed. Ah, okay. I I don't I don't know about these things, but I hope so. It would, it might be. Oh, uh, probably that could be it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll see you in two minutes. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.